we're gonna do the survey. I got a job here called field survey. Uh, so I'm gonna choose working job and uh, I got it as a field survey. So I'm in the job now and uh, obviously that's after our resection. So that's the same station as we finish our resection and we are good to go with the surveys, stakeout, reference line and everything. And the first thing we're gonna do the survey and wh what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually survey this concrete here and I'm gonna survey some ground behind it and then later we're gonna bring that into the AutoCAD and we're gonna have a look what we got and uh, obviously I'm gonna teach you how to interpret it and how to read it. And firstly, I'm just gonna use the laser beam here, measure any surface. Uh, I got my laser still on so I can see it here. Uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna see it, it's a like good weather today, but that's my laser here, the laser dot. And I'm just gonna be shooting some points around here, uh, which is gonna show me uh, what's the level of this foundation slab here is and as you can see the water is there so that obviously mean there's a little bit low there but we're going to double check it anyway with our instrument so i'm going to go to work now uh, that's going to be second program here survey and uh, that's going to ask me for the point id so i actually put it as a c1 i'm going to put it as a concrete one and once i'm going to jump on the ground i just press it g1 g2 and so on and so on and uh, I'm gonna start maybe from that corner here. I'm gonna just shoot a few random points. Uh, I'm gonna press measure in this case. Obviously, I want all these points to be saved in the instrument. I got an information point stored. So I'm gonna jump around uh, one and a half meter, two meters that side. Point stored. And another two meters that side. And uh, obviously, once we're gonna be working with the frames, that's gonna be our as built slab survey. So wherever we're gonna pour the slab, next day even before we start doing actually setting out we want to do the slab level survey and then we're going to bring it on the autocad and we're going to prepare the as -built survey drawing for the client so that's one of our responsibilities i got another point here i'm going that roughly two meters towards me and i'm going to have a three points here as well uh, and as i said we're going to have a look later how it looks uh, we got low here Obviously, we're not going to be shooting the water. It's not going to give us a good reading. But uh, what we can use, obviously, we're going to use a pole in a minute. So I'm going to do half of this survey with laser and the other half, we're going to use a pole for it. Maybe one point here as well. And that will be all just to show you how it's going to be looking. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to jump on that ground here. And uh, as I said, I'm going to just change the name of this. Uh, G1 as you can see later on the drawing uh, I'm just going to see the point so CCC GGG that's going to at least tell me where I am and uh, once we're going to overlay these points on the drawing obviously that's going to be easy and clear later uh, so I got a G1 I'm just put some point stored few points there as well just roughly so we're gonna have an idea about the level there uh, if there's gonna be any digging there for the next foundation we're we gonna know uh, how much ground to reduce and we're gonna have the information about the level surface there so we're gonna be often asked to do the survey like this uh, especially when we're gonna be starting some ground works uh, or the drainage so I'm gonna shoot two more points here and uh, I'm going to just uh, use a pole in a minute. Obviously, I got the N surface now uh, and I'm just measuring the points. And now I'm going to bring my pole here. Uh, I'm going to install the prism on top of it and we're going to use a prism to measure the rest of this foundation. And we're going to maybe check the few points on the ground as well. So I have my pole here now and uh, obviously what we need, we need a prism on top of it. And uh, I got the robotic holder here in the box as well so uh, the job gonna be nice and easy using these things so as you can see that small thing we need to put here and uh, that's gonna be holding our robotic our remote controller uh, i'm just gonna gently tighten it uh, uh, and i got the prism here as well i'm always going to be repeating this anyway so uh, don't be annoyed by this but always remember about checking the prism you're going to be using so as you can see we got the information on the prism itself and uh, you should have information on each prism you're going to be using once you got a prism without any info 
this is a bit dodgy it might be some chinese fake or something so be careful with it uh, or obviously it might be also the leica good one but someone took the sticker off but you want to make sure you got that like in this case prism constance plus 23.1 millimeter and i got leica geo system here so now i know what to set on my instrument so i'm going to put it here you can see there was a small button here so i'm going to press it a little bit and that's going to go down here and uh, my prism is fixed now so you're not going to fall down and uh, as i always say this is very expensive and even this prism itself costs around 800 pounds so make sure you care about all this equipment and believe me once you're going to be working with all this stuff your project manager your senior engineer going to be watching you actually how you treat the equipment so even if you don't care about it and i want you to care about it but even if you don't just do it for your work just do it for your project manager and senior engineer so they're gonna see you are a good engineer you care for the equipment and you're doing a good work i'm gonna lift it a little bit more uh, i'm gonna put it here and now i'm gonna make sure this is quite tight not too tight obviously we don't want to break it but make sure it's not gonna fall down so uh, i got my prism now and what i have to do now uh, i want to connect my instrument with the prism uh, and the first thing, obviously, I want to keep it as a little bit higher. I want to put it, in this case, at 180. So that 180 means my target is 1 meter 80 centimeters above the level I'm touching now at the bottom. And that's a very important thing because I'm going to set it on the instrument. I need to make sure my target height, in this case, is going to be 1.8 meters. If I'm going to set it at 1.6, make sure you're going to set the target height at 1.6 meter and that's the way you're going to get the correct height so uh, what i'm going to do now uh, i'm just going to go back i'm going to press c10 let's say that's going to be concrete number 10 target and uh, as you remember from the previous lesson i'm just going to connect it uh, using the remote here so always remember you need to go a little bit away from the instrument to give it a chance to find you not too close and uh, i'm going to press in this case target search right as the edm has to turn right towards me so that's number four from favorites and uh, it should find me lock the target lock the target so that tells me my edm is connected now and going to be following me so i'm going to go back on that side as you remember we just finished this side here and i'm going to check a few points using my pole so that's going to be the next one here uh, i'm going to go to work survey i want to press uh, again that c10 they're going to be 10 point i'm going to be measuring here i just want to make sure i'm going to have a continuous measure here as i'm going to be walking i'm going to press distance now so i'm going to see the information about the point as i go and uh, in this case uh, i'm going to be just pressing store you want to make sure you see the bubble here you want your pole straight before you store the point and uh, for this i'm going to show you also there is a good uh, equipment for it like a b pole or some extra legs you can use as well but uh, mostly we're going to be using it without it to be honest unless you want to invest and you want to do very accurate it may actually speed up the process so i got the next point here want to make sure see the bubble and i'm going to press store here as well and what we can also do we can work with our controller in one hand and our pole in the other so we just press this red thing we're going to detach the controller and we're going to keep our finger at the f3 at the store here and as we're going to be going, uh, we just want to make sure we got the level here. And using the other hand, we're just going to press point stored. Point stored. So that's a good way of doing it. I'm going to check three more points here. And then later, uh, we're going to see how it looks when we're going to bring it into the drawing. So I got one more here. One more here. Uh, I'm going to jump down here now to survey the ground a little bit around this foundation. And uh, as you remember, I used the point ID G for it. So I'm going to go G10 as well. Uh, I got my target height 1.8 meter as before. And as I said, we can just uh, keep it like that. So one hand going to be on the F3, just 
store the point. Make sure you see the bubble. Store the point, point stored. Obviously, once we, gonna, once we don't need the very accurate survey, we don't really need to make it perfect. We don't wanna be wasting time to make sure this is just at the very center. Once we're gonna be doing setting out, we obviously wanna make sure this is great. But if this is the rough survey, we wanna just do it quickly. So we're gonna just move here, make sure it's roughly like that, straight. I'm gonna point stored. Point stored. And obviously I'm gonna tell you later about it when I'm gonna be summarizing all our setting out as some things need more precision while some things don't and there's no point to waste time for it. So obviously once we're gonna be doing the slab survey, the concrete survey, we wanna make sure this is as good as we can do. But if you're gonna be doing ground level survey, it may be a little bit more roughly. 